Hi guys, so excuse my throat, it's quite sore at the moment and um, it kind of comes and goes. So if my voice like starts crackling away, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so this video I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I bought around the time of my birthday. Um, and like uh, some of the things I bought with gift cards and things like that. So the, my main present that I got was a car for my mum and my dad. And it's my birthday and Christmas present for the like this year and the next year. So it's my birthday Christmas present for two years. Um, so I'm not going to get a big present or anything when I turn 18, like my brother did. I've got mine like a year a year early, if that makes any sense. And so I completely wasn't expecting it. Completely wasn't expecting it, and I love my little car so much. So if you want to see like a little video of me showing you my car, then I'll do a separate like video with my flip, so I can actually show you properly instead of filming it on my laptop webcam, which would be a bit tricky. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you some things. Um, I did get a little purse from my cousin, and her daughter, uh, her daughter gave it to me, and her daughter's like a few months old, like three, four months old. She gave me this, and it's just a little dinky purse from Accessories. Um, really sweet, um, lovely little coin purse. Um, and I did get a cardigan from my aunt, but that is in the wash, so I can't show you that. Um, I went into Boots, I got a gift card for Boots, just a £10 gift card, and I bought um, a nail paint by Barry M. This is number 312, I have it on at the moment, um, and it's chipped a little bit. And um, I think it's indigo, but I'm not sure. And then I got the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara um, in extreme black because I realised uh, just after my birthday that the one I was using was actually a year old because I bought it last year on my birthday. So I thought, that's rubbish. I've got to go get a new one. And I didn't try the extreme black one, so I got that. And then went into next, and we spent ages, me and my mum spent ages kind of debating whether the tester that looked nothing like this perfume was actually this perfume or not and um, there was like a bottle and it looked nothing it was a little bit like this bottle but it wasn't the same and we were like is this the same perfume i don't want to have to buy it but the girl in the shop actually cracked open one and we sniffed them and we think roughly that it's the same perfume but i like the smell of this one anyway this is it's kind of like not in its package properly but um it's the diamonds uh, Eau de Parfum, the next diamonds, and it's £6.50, and it's really sweet, I might even go back and buy the full, like, 100ml bottle, which is just only £10, because it's such a nice scent. I then got some jewellery in next, with my gift card, um, I got these heart earrings that I'm wearing, they're like little hearts, they're really cute, and then I got um, a necklace and a bracelet, and the necklace and the bracelet match so they look like that it's just on a nice chain like a snaky chain and the beads they're not coming up quite true to color they're a little bit more green well they're like a bluey green i don't know quite how to describe it but, and the little heart gem and then it's got a matching bracelet which are the same color gems um and a heart on them but there's a little heart like link which is really sweet and um i have worn it but i put the plastic back on the heart like saved it because i noticed that this heart on the necklace didn't have um a protector on it and it's a little bit scratched up and i don't quite want to let the bracelet i think i'm going to wear the bracelet more than i wear the necklace so i thought i'm going to just save the the bracelet just a little bit more but these were five pounds each so that's really inexpensive really and the earrings were two which is really really good um, I then I had a book token um, thing which you can it's like a national book token and you can spend it in any sh like bookshop that accepts national book tokens so we were in Chichester and I went into uh, Waterstones and there's a little story to this because we went upstairs into the cafe like I'd bought my books and I went upstairs my mum and dad were already in the cafe like having coffee and stuff um, and the guy, the dad from Outnumbered walks in and my mum's like, oh my god, look, it's the guy from Outnumbered. And he literally sits on the table right next to us. And it was just really weird. Anyway, I got four books. 
Uh, I've got Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, which I'd heard a little bit about from someone else's channel. I don't know who it was. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. And I don't think it had been released because it's an American book. I don't think it had quite been released yet in the UK because I've tried to like reserve it at my library and they didn't let me. Um, and I've actually read it already and I really like the story. It's um, something fun and... Um, it's just a really nice story. I really liked it. Something fun and not too, not too taxing to read. Now this is funny because this is Truman Capote's. I don't even know how to say his Capote Capote. Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's like the thinnest book I bought. It's like not even two hundred pages long, right? It was the most expensive book I bought. It was eight ninety nine, and I didn't realise until I got it to like I looked at my receipt and I was like, oh my god, it's like more expensive. It's the most expensive book I bought. And then the next book I bought is like massive compared to it, which is the Time Traveller's Wife, and this one was only seven ninety nine. Um, and I can't wait to read this. I've been wanting to read this for ages. I saw, um part of the film before I haven't read it completely um, but I can't wait to read it and this is a bit of a, a chunky book and kind of one of the books that I don't think you'd really be able to carry around with you that easily because you would be worried or well, I would be worried of mucking it up because it's that big um, and then the last book I got was a book that I've already read like because I borrowed it from the library it's Sophie Kinsella mini shopaholic but it's the only one in the series that I don't actually own and have on my bookshelf and I am a bit like I like to have all the books in a series on my bookshelf and I like to own books which is why a, a Kindle would never be a good present for me because I like to physically be able to turn the pages and have it and be able to pick it up. I don't know, I just, I like the object in my hand and because it was 25% off I thought why not. So those were the books I bought and I was actually a little bit shocked at how much I spent on books. Like I had 20, I think it was £20 and I actually spent 30, nearly £30 on books and I got four books. So just showing you how much books, how expensive books are. I remember when I used to be able to go into a WH Smith's or um, Waterstones. I don't think it was called Waterstones and I think it was called Otticus or something like that when I was little because I'm a big bookaholic. And um, I used to buy, be able to buy a book for £4, £5 and now they're all like £8, £9. It's rubbish. Anyway, so I went into Halfords. Some of this stuff's from Halfords, some of it isn't. Uh, I got a Halfords Natural Chamois Dimester Pad. And that's just like for your window and it's really good for like getting getting stuff off your window. Another time a car owner. Um a Halfords card air freshener in vanilla. This is really expensive inexpensive, it was like one pound fifty. And it smells really good. Um, I have a bit of a thing for um vanilla. Um I also got an ice buster. Uh, which is for the winter um, and you, like scrape your car with it um, this was one ninety nine, and I think this is probably the best like quality you could ever get like I just like gouged myself with the bit but you know what I mean it's a really good quality it was one ninety nine, and I can't wait for it to like frost over now uh, my dad bought me this box for like one ninety nine in in a shop it's in Chichester and um there's like an industrial, almost like a like a, um, industrial estate, that's not what it's called is it? But there's like a big Sainsbury's with a clothing section and then the other side like of the roundabout there's like a Halfords, a Harvey's, a Home Sense and some other things. I think it's Staples, Staples as well. And he got me this from one of the shops and then he got me the bulbs inside as well because he's a mechanic. So he has a trade club card, which means he gets money off of things because he's a trader. So I've got like a, a headlight bulb and some indicator bulbs and then some inter interior bulbs in here. I need to put a couple on because he's a taxi driver as well. Uh, he has a lot of other bulbs, like he buys them in bulk. So there's a few other bulbs I have to put in here. And then I just got um, some microfiber cloths for inside my car, like my dash and stuff. That's all I got really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a review on anything like makeup wise or want a book review or you want to know a little bit more about driving or anything like that, like cars, then just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.